All right, so we in here again. This right here is a different, different video. This right here is the making of Asa the trailer and Joe Button and Absol uh, cut from a different cloth. Now, if y'all heard the tracks, y'all would know or y'all could tell that they like pretty much are the same kind of beat. Well, they are the same beat. Just one is pianos and then one is a sample. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like explain the story behind it and, and, and show y'all the making of how I did the joint. Um, first off, this was the first beat. Me and, uh, me and a producer named Frank Dukes, we did this joint. He crafted the sample. And what I did was I, uh, I chopped up the sample that he made for me. Is this the sample right here? This the sample. He made this. Shout out to Frank Dukes, that boy ill, man. Like he, he make the samples like it's crazy. So that's the sample. So what I did is I chopped it up. Up here, I chopped it up and made a basically a nice little sequence of it. I'm gonna play it by itself. And I can set it up a little bit too. pretty much the main melody and then um, I added this uh, string lead and what's this string tab you already know what that's about flat line alright and from there on it's just the drums I got drums that's my kick hard kick and the hard snare Cardiac snare, 808. That's the strings that I already did that. Alright, uh, yeah, and that's pretty much it. And I got, um, like some hi hats. That's the making of the trailer. Now, Joe Button had the same beat. Um, I didn't know Ace Hood was uh, recording on it or doing a song to it at the time. So, um, Joe Button had played me the song on his, um, he had like a Ustream or something like that. And he played it for me over that beat. So I thought it was dope. And then Ace Hood and them came out with their joint. And I was like, damn, they went off the same beat. And I, um, so I took the liberty of like just remaking the beat because I didn't want them to come out on the same beat. So I got my boy Critical 
Hold up. I got my boy Critical. He um new producer on Heartfelt Music. He um I basically told him the story and how we could get the uh get the placement. All we gotta do is just come up with a new beat in the same key and all that. So what he did was just basically replay the sample like with different instruments and just made it our own. You feel me? I'ma play you I'ma play you what he did. Um hold on. He did the keys and then he did some strings on it too. Now, as far as the drums, I kept my kick the same. I kept the kick the same and the snare the same, and with the hi-hats, I switched it up a little bit. Let me see something, if I can pull it up on here. How my hats? Yeah, my hat is different. I switched it up a little bit on here. Let me see. Like, the hi-hats is different than the hi-hats on here. So I just made it, like, it made it, just switched the beat up a little bit. This version is jazz version. It's like this before. There you have it. That's how you save a record when you got an artist, when you got like two artists rapping over the same beat and you're trying to save that other record. You just gotta do what you gotta do to keep it, man. So two different beats, pretty much. It's the same beat, but it's two different beats. You feel me? It's it's, it's just different. It's just different, like Jay Z said. You feel me? But um, there you have it. Cardiacflatline.com. Shout out to Frank Dukes and shout out to Critical. We in. Here.